Cleveland, Ohio, voting booths can be added to the list of abandoned and neglected Cleveland structures that need attention. The operative word for Mayor Frank Jackson's re election campaign has been action, but there was little action at polling stations for Cleveland's primary Tuesday. Voter turnout was especially low, even for a primary, which traditionally draws fewer voters than a general election. 60% of the voters who did show up voted for someone other than Jackson, who still managed to be the top vote getter in the crowded field of nine candidates. Jackson gained 38.7% of the vote, compared to winning 72% in 2009. In the November election, he will face Councilman Zach Reed who garnered 22% of the vote to place second, outlasting Councilman Jeff Johnson, who came in third with 15%. Jackson's victory Tuesday was as shallow as the voter turnout. As has been noted, 60% voted for his challengers. Jeff Johnson has now endorsed Reed. If you add Johnson's 15% to Reed's 22%, Jackson barely wins the primary. That's a bad sign for a mayor already pushing his luck and seeking an unprecedented fourth term in a city still facing significant challenges, despite achievements. Today we sent a broad message across the city, from Cam's Corner, to Collinwood, to Mount Pleasant to Glenville. We need a new mayor, Reed told supporters gathered to watch the primary results. Reed has been running under a Trumpian safety first banner. Our message that people deserve a better city and a safer city has resonated with people on both the east side and the west side. People feel unsafe, said Reed. It indeed is a clear and effective message that accurately takes the pulse of the city. It's ironic that Jackson is routinely ridiculed for his dirt track proposal. Because the track was proposed in response to routine complaints about Cleveland neighborhood streets being turned into unsafe drag strips for motorbike and ATV riders. A frustration Reed is tapping into with his safety first message. Veteran Democratic political consultant Jerry Austin told Cleveland.com's Andrew Tobias that the election results demonstrated Jackson's weakness. Austin noted that Jackson fell well short of getting 50% despite vastly outspending Reed. I think the more Frank campaigns, the worse he does. I think he's a known commodity, and people like him or they don't. I don't think he has anywhere to go. I think what Zach has to do now is present that he's an alternative to Frank Jackson, and he's an acceptable alternative to Frank Jackson. That's his challenge. Austin told Tobias. Jackson reportedly has never taken Reed seriously, now would be a good time to start. Reed deserves respect for outperforming Jeff Johnson. In his post primary column, Brent Larkin described Johnson as perhaps the most gifted candidate in the race, while noting Johnson's promising career was permanently scarred by jail time served for a 1998 extortion conviction. Johnson is a really smart guy who made a really big mistake. Larkin wrote, as arguably the most knowledgeable observer of Cleveland politics in the city's journalism community. His Cleveland political memory is unmatched. Years ago, it was Johnson, not Jackson who was seen as the rising star most likely to be elected mayor of Cleveland. One of the first illustrations I had published in The Plain Dealer, in the late 80s or early 90s, was a caricature of Johnson, whose political profile was prominent at the time. In addition to his pure political talent, Johnson also had the backing of labor in this primary. What he lacked was money to fund his effort. Read outperforming Johnson also can't just be chalked up to Johnson's conviction, either, because Reed has had his own run ins with the law. In endorsing Reed, Johnson said, Zach is hardworking and has experience. He is closer to what the next four years should look like than Frank is. Hopefully Cleveland voters will turn out in November to tell us if they agree or not. Cleveland, Ohio, former Mayor Dennis Kucinich had the opportunity to orchestrate a stunning upset in Cleveland's mayoral primary Tuesday, from which Mayor Frank Jackson and Councilman Zach Reed advanced to the runoff. After finding the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections building unlocked, Unoccupied and unguarded, on September 2, Kucinich called the police, instead of writing in his name on thousands of blank mayoral ballots. Maybe if it was a primary for governor or president, his decision would have been different.
Vladimir Putin and Syria's Bashar Assad, who Kucinich once supported, would say he blew a golden opportunity. The former congressman had gone to the Board of Elections to cast an early ballot in the mayoral primary when he found a rear public entrance door unlocked. After going to the second and third floors, he found the building completely unoccupied in the early afternoon on the first Saturday of the month.